What's up guys, we have an absolutely massive weekly update for you today. We have some great Nintendo picks, a massive selection of PS4 and 5, so let's jump right in. Before we cover the Nintendo highlights, I just want to remind you guys that we have our loyalty program going on. We just launched it last week. It's a great way to earn some points and get rewarded for shopping here with us and being a consistent customer. We're also going to be using this program to slowly roll out some more benefits for regulars and people that have just been actively supporting us. We're very grateful and we just want to do what we can to give back. So be sure to check it out online or ask about it next time you're in store. For Nintendo, there's nothing super special, just a lot of popular first party, mostly Mario, Pokemon, and Zelda. For the handhelds, we have uh, Pokemon Red and Fire Red. We have a Heart Gold for the DS. And then complete in box, we have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time. A nice variety if you want to you know, play something Pokemon, but you don't just want the traditional experience. It's a different play style, different kind of game. And for the older cartridge stuff, again, just some first party titles. We have Super Mario 64. Pretty nice copy. This is a popular one that usually sells pretty quick. And the back label also in good shape. A little bit of damage there, but otherwise pretty nice. And then technically not a Nintendo game, but their IP, we have a fun one for the Atari 2600, Mario Bros. Don't know much about this, honestly. We're keeping an eye on Atari games because they are launching a brand new console that's gonna play the original games in HD. So curious to see if the prices on any of those are gonna bounce up. Almost the entirety of the update now is going to be PlayStation, but first we're just gonna knock off Xbox. Everything all together, just some pretty generic shelf fillers. The only game really to highlight is another copy of Modern Warfare 2 for the Xbox One and Series X. Just the most recent Modern Warfare game, still holding value pretty well. Now we move into PlayStation. We're gonna start with PS1 and just move our way right up. We have some pretty cool picks for every single system that you can possibly play or want. So for PS1, we have Armored Core, Master of Arena. We got a bunch of Armored Core games for the PS2. So now I just got a PS1, it is loose, uh, but if you're just looking to play it, it usually brings the price down significantly because it is somewhat of a collector's piece. So a good way to get your hands on it there. And then also uh, another one I'm not super familiar with, Omega Boost for the PS1. Really nice case, in good shape. And you know, complete with everything inside. And then just to combine PSP with PS1 because there's not a ton, uh, we have somewhat of a more rare title, Gungner. I have a hard time with this one, Gungnir. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, seems like that kind of thing we see a lot with PlayStation, the Japanese influence, Japanese import kind of games tend to hold a lot of value. We don't get a lot of rare games for PSP, so that's a pretty cool pickup. PlayStation 2 is our best-selling category for everything Sony. Uh, it's a pretty tight race between PS2 and PS4, but PlayStation 2 usually edges it out. So the highlight we're gonna go over is Silent Hill 4. The Silent Hill games hold some of the most value on average for PlayStation, especially the PS2 titles, and it is complete in the case. Good case, good manual. Just that horror genre typically gets a more niche cult following. It's a double stack day in PlayStation land, so for everything now, we're gonna have two separate columns to go over just because there's so many games. Again, similar with PS2, just a lot of mid-range picks, any good shelf fillers, some good popular first-party titles that are just common for PlayStation 3. And to wrap up PlayStation, we have PS4 and 5. For PlayStation 4, we have a pretty cool title. While PS4 is very popular, we don't see a lot of games kind of crack that $30 mark, unless they're new titles that are PS4 and PS5. Uh, but this is one we haven't seen before, Ziggurat. And for the PS5, newer release, we have Diablo 4. So a nice case in good shape, uh, the latest release in the Diablo series. And just a reminder for the remainder of this week, we do have a sale on everything PlayStation. It's 15% off, that's PS1 through 5, PSP and Vita. All games, controllers, consoles, accessories, everything PlayStation. And last thing for us to go over today, we have some pretty cool Nintendo handheld systems. We don't usually go over all the consoles because we just get too many every single week, but the handhelds are pretty popular and small enough for us to show you in a tied up way. 
So for DS, we have a special edition 3DS XL. We have a special Pikachu edition and a Zelda, I believe this was the Link to the Past edition. Also have a pink DS Lite. DS Lights and DS Eyes have been selling out for us. So this is the only one we have at the moment. So come grab it if you wanna get one. And then also just a few more Switch lights, both in pretty good shape. And we have one in the original box as well. The ones complete in box tend to be good gifts because they wrap well with Christmas coming up in a few months. So be sure to keep your eye out on that. And that's gonna be it for us for today. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you wanna see our updates that way. We're also going to be starting a weekly newsletter with everything all combined that you can find in one place. So head over to our website and we'll have a subscribe button where you can sign up to receive email updates if you wanna receive them that way. We'll see you guys next week.